What is going on guys? My name is Wolf Sickness and welcome everybody to another YouTube video. So today is the day guys that we're going to be showing you the best exporting settings for Adobe Premiere Pro in 2025. So obviously we've got our project here. It's just my previous recording. So obviously once you've done that, then you um, you press the O key like for Oscar um, to end the segment. Go up to file, then go to export media and this is for 1440p 60 frames per second so obviously i've got my preset youtube 1440p 60 fps but i'm going to show you all the settings so file name do whatever you're going to do that is my videos best recording settings obs 2025 something along those lines so obviously video goes straight to there and do the frame size so whatever you want to export in i record in 1080p but uh, export in 1440p so i always keep that for 2560 by 1440 frame rate keep that to whatever uh, uh, is the default like obviously you don't want to record in 30 fps and upload in 60 fps so yeah definitely do not do that so this is where the most important bits are guys so it says a render and maximum depth 110 percent do that guys 110 percent do that i use maximum render quality definitely do that because you want the best quality it does add on like maybe like two three percent extra time but Obviously, you want the best quality for your YouTube videos. Uh, keep all of this the same, so keep that off, and then frame sampling, do that. Then, hardware encoding. If you do have this available, please do press that, because that will make your recordings, like, a exporting from, like, 20 minutes down to, like, 5 minutes. It's insane how fast it gets, and it is better quality as well. Uh, profile, main, level 5.1, and then keep the export color space as 709. After that, scroll down, just keep all of this. It's a bit of rate encoding. I always do VBR one pass. There is a two pass, as you can see right down there. But if you do a two pass, then that's going to freaking take forever. And I have done lots of quality tests on YouTube, uploading at 1440p, 4K, 8K, 16K. There is literally no difference, guys. There is no difference with a two pass because of how bad YouTube encoding is. Um, and then target bit rate, I always keep for 35 megabytes a second. The reason behind this is because when you're uploading at 1440p, YouTube encodes it out like, I think it's like 24 megabytes. So obviously, why don't I do 24? Well, I want the highest quality as possible. I have done lots of tests and I found 35 is a sweet spot. Obviously, when I export this video, as you can see, estimated file size is going to be about two gigabytes. But yes, it's not going to be that. It's going to be a bit smaller, but obviously it is just an estimation. But if you're going to do, let, let's change that to, I don't know, 70, then that's going to change to four freaking megabytes. And obviously, if you change that to 10, then you're going to see 610. So if I just do 35 and then that's perfect, straight back to the point. So yeah, that's the best for quality slash file size, even with like really intensive games like Battlefield 5, where there's explosions everywhere, buildings collapsing and everything, Sea of Thieves, Red Dead, Spyro, Shadow of Tomb Raider, Flight Sim, I'm just naming random games that has loads of details. It's, yeah, there's the best quality for your target bit rate. If your video is VR, press that, but obviously mine isn't. And then we're just gonna go down to the audio tab. So I always keep everything as default, bit rate 320, because that's the highest and why not you know it, unless you want to do 160 but whatever you're already recording in then you need to export in but if you're doing a higher bit rate than you originally did so let's say you recorded in 320 and then you do 160 it will sound worse but if you recorded in 160 but then you're uploading in 320 it will sound a tiny bit better but obviously recording is only maxed out to what you did it to if that makes sense and then the rest of the settings honestly it does not make one bit of difference so obviously that's mp4 captions don't have any effects that kind of stuff metadata there and then general there but yeah now we're just going to press the export button so if we just do uh, make sure that is source in source out make sure that's set to youtube 1440p 60 fps make sure that's where you want to export it to then just press the export button and then i'm going to do a little time lapse for you guys so yes now it has exported you can just find it in your file so if we just drag that right over there exported videos and then you can see where is it here there we go and so that is 538 megabytes it did say two megabytes but obviously 
it, when it's encoding, it can make it smaller. So yes, guys, that is the end of today's video. I know that was a short one. I've been recording for eight minutes and part of it is a time lapse. But yes, thank you everybody for watching. My name is Wim More Sickness. You guys have been absolutely awesome. I hope this has helped you guys, honestly. And happy new year, happy holidays, happy Christmas. I'll see you guys in another video. And this is in 1440p, 60 frames per second. Peace out. Much love. Like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to dab on the haters.